So welcome to another 30 minute Pilates class. This again is a beginner's class and you can use in this equipment like a Pilates softball for so some of the lying down exercises and also in place of this you could use a soft beach ball, small football or a small pillow about this size. So to start off with we'll just start off with our posture. So place your feet together do your toes out and heels out, soft knees rather than having them locked back. When you come up from your pelvis, tilt it right forwards, tilt it back, and then you want it pulled in slightly in between the two, so you've got to pull on your pelvic and lower abdominal muscles. Coming up, elongate your spine and your head and neck, and then just relax your shoulders back. So that should be your starting posture, and then we'll just do a few moves to warm up your upper and lower limb. So palms facing together, but not touching first of all. Breathe in, and exhale out. One arm one way, and one arm the other. So just keep everything nice and relaxed there, but you're still focusing on your posture here, not letting that small muscle contraction go. So with your lower abdominal contraction here, it should be a 50% contraction rather than a full 100% contraction. And also with this move, don't hunch your shoulders up like that. Just keep them nice and relaxed as you're going up and down. So a couple more. And then we'll move on to your lower limb, just relax your arms by your side and just go to one leg balance. So for this, continue to have your contraction on there and just raise one leg and opposite arm. Just transferring your weight to each side, keeping your stance knee nice and relaxed there and just keeping your rhythm nice and steady from side to side. And again, just keep on going with that, nice and steadily. And then again, just two more to finish off. And back down. So going back to your upper limb, just place your palms up. Again, keep that posture there. Breathe in and then exhale out. Just pause and breathe in and exhale out to the side. If you want to, you can always add a resistance band to make this exercise more difficult. And then moving on to our low limbs, take your stance slightly wider and then we're just going down into your squat position. So for this, just keep your head slightly facing forwards or even slightly up and that will prevent your upper back from arching. Just coming back to the front and also your knees shouldn't come in front of your toes. So just do five more, just steadily up and down. And this should be getting you nicely warmed up now. And then back to our upper limb. So arm openings, palms facing each other but not touching again. Breathe in and bring your arm to the side. Exhale out to the side again. And you should be getting nice rotation in your upper back, taking your arm to each side. Just follow your hand back with your eyes and 
turn your neck. And again, just a couple more to each side. One more. Okay, and then just roll your arms backwards, or shoulders rather, and then roll them forwards. And we'll just finish off with upper and lower limb. So a bit of a calf stretch. So from the side, keep your feet nice and parallel, and you're bringing your arms up and pressing your heel back. So just keep your breathing nice and steady through this from the front or slightly to the side just bringing your arms up horizontal if you're quite flexible you can bring your arms up higher and get a nice stretch through your upper back and again we'll finish off with two more on each side so three, two, and one. And that concludes our standing section. So we just have our smaller headrest in line and go down into line on our backs. So in our seated section, you need your Pilates softball, smaller headrest just to rest your head on. And again, We'll just start off with posture, so have your knees to approximately 90 degrees, move your toes out and your heels out, parallel gap between your knees and your feet, and then tilt your pelvis backwards and forwards, and just have it resting halfway in between. So to start off with, we'll have the ball just between our knees, so you're lightly squeezing your knees together, and we'll start off with shoulder bridge. So breathe in and you're going to lift your bottom up first, then your lower back and then your rib cage. Breathe in at the top and just slowly back down. Rib cage first, then imagine you're bringing each vertebrae down at a time and your bottom last. So keep on going with your shoulder bridge, slowly coming up. And just go up and down in a steady rhythm. So inhale, exhale up. And coming back down. Just keeping that light squeeze with your knees on the ball. If you want to make it more difficult at the top, you can do single leg bridge and back down. Careful not to let your bottom drop in between while you're doing it and slowly come back down. So at the top, when you come up, just extend one leg. Careful while you're doing this not to let your bottom drop. Keep it up and then slowly coming back down. So just do the basic bridge if that's enough for you, keep it there, hold on and slowly back down. And we'll just do two more to finish off, just with a hold. So with that I'm just going to come up. Still got that light squeeze between your knees and hold here for about 20 seconds. We've got about 10 seconds left. Breathe in at the end and exhale slowly back down. 
and then one more of those. Come up, really curling up nice and slowly. And again, hold for about 20 seconds. So about 10 seconds left again. Breathe in at the end and exhale slowly back down. Okay, and then keep the ball between your knees. What you're going to do is bring both legs up into tabletop position so if you need to adjust it at this stage, you're welcome to. And you're still going to keep that light squeeze there. So tabletop means 90 degrees at the knees and the hips. And just hold there. And then take the legs back down. Just going to do that once more. So breathe in and exhale your legs up to that position. Keep squeezing in. Careful not to let your back arch if you're doing this. So what we don't want to see is that happening. Keep everything nice and relaxed here and then take it down. But just If you can't take both legs up together and that's too difficult, just take one leg up at a time and then place the ball between your knees if that's easier for you. So we're just going to do hundreds. So with this move, just pulsing your arms by the side, keeping your legs up here. So you're breathing in for four pulses and out for six. So just keep on going for another nine breaths. If you can't get the pulses with your arms, don't worry. Just lightly keep them in a rhythm and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So last couple, breathe in. And then relax down. Just give yourself a bit of a stretch now. So keep the ball between your knees, spread your arms out to the side if you've got room, if not, just by your side. Breathe in and then bring your legs one way and your head the other. So breathe in in the middle, exhale when you're going out to the side. So when you go one way, you should feel your muscles here working. And then when you go the other way, you should feel your muscles on the opposite side working to control that descent of the knees. So just a couple more to each side. So one more to each side. And then take the ball out from between your knees and just bring your knees in towards your back and stretch in and give your lower back a bit of a stretch. Should feel really nice just getting that lower back and your muscles to relax. Just bring your knees slightly side to side if you need to. And then we'll do the same moves again, but with the ball in a different position to affect your balance. So this time, if you just place the ball between your two buttock muscles at the bottom of your lower back, 
and then just let yourself relax onto it. Okay. And then we'll just start off with our first manoeuvre. Adjust the headrest if you need to. So breathe in, you're just going to exhale one leg up and back down again. So if you want to make this more difficult at any time, you can cross your arms over your chest and then that will make you have less support on the mat to keep your balance. And then just change the rhythm so you're swapping legs alternately and then to make that more difficult you can just bring your arms over your chest there and keeping your balance while on the ball. Just do that for about 20 seconds again, keeping it going. And then when you finish that, just bring your legs down, let everything relax and just go back to your alternate legs. So give your lower back a bit of a chance to relax and you're just going back to that steady rhythm there. Again, you can make the balance aspect more difficult by crossing your arms over there and then again for the last 20 seconds just bring your legs up and then alternate just tapping the pads of your toes down onto the front and bringing your knee up to that 90 degree position we'll do this once more after this but first of all, approximately 20 seconds. If you don't have a watch, don't worry, just count it down in your head like I am. And then relax at the end. So just go back to single legs again. Just breathing in, exhaling out as you bring your leg up and down. Just let everything relax again. You're just going to do two more single legs on each side. And then again, just change over 20 seconds, swapping legs, tapping the pads just by your toes, lightly down onto the mat. Keeping your breathing nice and steady there again. And a couple more and just take your legs down. Give your back a stretch after that, feet and knees together, and then just take your legs to the side. Now you should be able to take them to the side a bit less than before, because you're on the ball here, it's harder to control it when your legs go out to the side. Like with most moves in Pilates, don't forget to keep that contraction on around your pelvis. Again, it's not a full contraction. You're just taking your muscles in your lower abdominals and your pelvis, just squeezing in lightly. And then again, if you need to adjust the ball, you can. But just take the 
legs up into the tabletop position again. So breathe in and then legs up into that tabletop position. If you want to make it slightly harder again, just cross your arms over your front there and just hold that position. Just keep your breathing nice and steady. And again, you can have your arms there. If it's easier, just have them by your side. Okay, and then I hold them once more. Breathe in and exhale up. Once you've got them up into that position, your breathing can stay nice and steady. So you're holding it for a bit longer each time. So last 10 seconds. And then let them go down again. Breathe in and then one more balance into tabletop position. Just holding it there. And again, last 10 seconds. Bring your arms down and your legs down. Okay, and then we we'll move on to hundreds, so combining it with the arms again. So coming up into tabletop position and just pulsing your arms up and down. Ten breaths in and out. So about three more breaths in and out left. Bring your arms down, relax your legs down, and then we'll just relax your back again and feet together and knees together. Have your arms slightly to the side and just going to exhale out, breathe in in the middle and exhale to one side, moving your head the opposite side to your knees. So one more to each side. And then come back up and just bring your knees in towards your chest and get that stretch through your lower back. Bringing your knees slightly side to side again. And then bring your legs down, take the ball out and if you just roll it away for now. And we we'll just finish off as we began with the shoulder bridge. So just if you need to adjust your position again, so just do your toes out and heels out. Centre your spine as it's called. So pelvis backwards and forwards and find that halfway point. 
and then breathe in and then exhale up. So again, just to remind you, you're bringing your bottom up first, then your lower back and then your rib cage. Coming up nice and slowly, breathe in and just exhale down, nice and slowly. So you're going to do four more of these. Coming up into that bridge position. And curling back down. Two more. And then we'll just do two with a single leg bridge at the top, but you can continue doing the normal ones if you want to. So in that bridge position, just extend one leg, keeping your knees nice and level. And then extend the other leg just for a few seconds. So you're not letting your pelvis drop either. And slowly back down. And then the same again. Curl up. And extend in here. Again, don't let your pelvis drop while you're doing it. Keep that nice and level. And then change over to the other leg. And then breathe in. And slowly back down. Now we'll just do our last shoulder bridge. We're just going to hold at the top for 30 seconds. So slowly up. It's actually harder if you do this movement slowly rather than just go straight up into that bridge position. And when you've got that nice straight line there, hold it at the top. So just for 30 seconds. So remember, don't let your bottom drop while you're doing this. Squeeze your bottom muscles together. Just hold it up. This is a great move for all the muscles down here and at your back. So about 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in and slowly exhale down and we'll just finish off with a move called one leg stretch just get your upper limb and lower limb going so make sure you've got your good starting position breathe in and exhale your heel down the mat when your legs extended don't let your back arch up and just alternate legs So if you can only go that far before your back does that, just go that far. Just one more with just the legs. And then just add in the arms as well. So just overhead reach back and just again, do one leg at a time. Just one more on each leg. You're welcome to stretch and stand in to finish off, or you can just have a couple of 
minutes of relaxation. So what we do is a couple of minutes of relaxation and you can stretch and stand in afterwards if you want to. So what we're going to do is just hold tension in our muscles for about 10 seconds. So first of all, if you just relax your body on the mat. So first of all, what you're gonna do is press your knees down, bring your toes up towards you and tense those muscles again for about 10 seconds. And then just let everything just relax there. Squeeze your bottom muscles together. And again, hold that tension in your muscles there for about 10 seconds. And then just let that relax. Next, just make a fist, straighten your elbows and tighten your shoulder muscles. Tense everything again. And then just relax. And lastly, just again lightly, just press your head down into your mat. Get some tension in your neck for about 10 seconds and then relax. And then just for the last minute of the class, just close your eyes and just relax for approximately 60 seconds. open your eyes. So if you want to you can stretch and stand in just to unwind at the end but that's the end of the half an hour class for today.